OmniFocus now supports widgets on iOS. But what's the best way to set up an OmniFocus widget to help you be more productive? I'll show you in this video. Now, if you're new here, my name is Peter, and I help people to be more organized and more productive. And one way I do that is by teaching people like you how to use OmniFocus in the best way possible. And if you want to really get started or uh, get, go deeper with OmniFocus, then you want to check out my course, Get Stuff Done with OmniFocus 3, and you'll learn an entire workflow for being more organized and more productive with OmniFocus. I've had hundreds of students who've taken this course now, and they love the course. I get so much good feedback, people saying that they're more productive now than ever. So go check out that course, and you'll find a link to that course, Get Stuff Done with OmniFocus 3, in the description below the video. Okay, today we're talking about the OmniFocus widget for iOS. Now, just a couple of requirements. You must be running iOS 14 or higher, and you must have OmniFocus 3.11 or higher. You also need the pro edition of OmniFocus if you want to use custom perspectives in your widget. But we'll get to that, okay? All right, so the first thing I'd like to do is talk about um, how you want to be using OmniFocus, okay? So the main use case for OmniFocus is for your day-to-day -day productivity to be really good, really solid. And I recommend that on any given day, you work on two types of tasks. Number one, urgent tasks. Number two, important tasks. So urgent tasks are the ones that in OmniFocus are going to have a due date. That's today or sometime in the next couple of days. Or I guess, I guess you could have tasks that are past due, but let's hope you don't have any of those. Okay, so those are urgent tasks. It's very important as you use OmniFocus that you only apply due dates to tasks when there is an actual deadline. Like you have to pay your bill by today or else something bad happens. So I see a lot of people using due dates to mark their intention to say, I'd like to work on this Tuesday, so I'll make it due Tuesday, right? But then there's no real consequence if you don't do that thing by Tuesday. Like I'd like to write uh, an entry in my journal. That's great if you'd like to do that. But if you don't do it that day, the world doesn't end. There's no substantial negative consequence. So you wanna make sure that you're reserving due dates for things that have substantial negative consequences if you don't do it by that time, right? You gotta pay your bill on time, okay? Maybe you've got to buy a birthday gift on time, right? Someone else's birthday is gonna pass and you'll be late, right? So um, that's for the urgent tasks. So on any given day, you want to work on urgent tasks and important tasks. And so important tasks may not be urgent, but it's uh, to be the most productive version of you, you really want to work on the important tasks as well, even when they're not urgent. Otherwise, you're just constantly chasing fires, uh, often doing busy work, but never really getting to those tasks that are going to make you more productive in the long run. Okay. And so the important tasks, there's a way to mark those in OmniFocus, and that is the next tag. Now, if you are not yet familiar with the next tag, check out my other video right here on YouTube about the next tag, or just save yourself a lot of time, enroll in my course, get stuff done with OmniFocus 3, and you'll learn an entire system, an entire workflow um, based around this next tag, okay? Um, but either way, make sure you understand what the next tag is first. So. Um, Let's start in OmniFocus on the Mac. So I've got OmniFocus on the Mac open right here, uh, and I'm looking at some of my projects. I'm focusing on a folder called Demo Projects. The focus feature is uh, something that's available in OmniFocus through the Mac, um, just to keep things clean for this demonstration, okay? So let's choose some things to work on today and set some tasks that are supposedly due today, and then we'll move to OmniFocus on iOS so I can show you how to set up the widget, okay? So let's say um, this is a list of tasks that I have, and I would like to work on these two tasks today. So I'm going to apply the next tag to these two tasks. So I'm just gonna go over here, tags, start typing next. Okay, and that signifies my intention to work on these two tasks today. Even though they are not due today, I would like to work on them today. But let's say I have some other tasks, and let's say it's these two, and these are actually due today. I have to do these today or else something bad will happen. Maybe it's like, um, I promised my students that I would get a video to them by today, and so I have to do this today, otherwise I break my promise. That's a good example of a, due, of a scenario where you want to use a due date. So if I go to the forecast perspective in OmniFocus now, um, you'll see that these items that are due show up under today in the forecast perspective, because I've made them due. You'll also see that these two tasks 
with the next tag show up under today. Now that's because if I click the eye icon here, I have said today shows items with this tag, and then I chose next. So this is how you can use the next tag to show your intention to work on these things today. So this is kind of my to-do list for today. Things that are urgent, things that are important, but not urgent. Okay? So this is the list that we want to see on our phone as well, right? As we're working through the day, we want to see our to-do list for today so that we can check tasks off as we go. And you can go to the forecast perspective in OmniFocus on your phone, but it's nice to get it in widget form. Okay, now let's go to the phone. So I got my phone right here, and I'm just at an empty page, um, an empty screen, I guess, okay? And I'm going to long press, so just tap and hold on the big empty area, and you'll see that a lot of the icons start wiggling, okay? Then I'm gonna tap the plus at the top left. And then I'm gonna find OmniFocus. Here I've got OmniFocus. And then you'll see all the available OmniFocus widgets. So you see there's forecast widgets, three sizes. There's custom perspectives uh, or just perspective widgets, three of them, three sizes, and a new inbox item widget. So let's just choose the forecast one. I like to use the big one and just tap add widget. And you'll see OmniFocus put this widget up in here. You see right now there's nothing even though we just set some items to be shown in the forecast perspective on the Mac, it's because OmniFocus needs to synchronize between the Mac and the iPhone. Okay, so just tap the widget and it opens OmniFocus. Just pull down and OmniFocus will sync. So we're gonna give it a second. There you go. Now you see that I've got on the phone as well, the two items that are due and the two items that have the next tag. And so this is my to-do list for today. So now if I just go back to the screen, I'll see this nice looking widget here. The forecast perspective, with my two tasks that are due today and my two tasks that I have expressed an intention to work on today with the next tag, so my urgent and my important tasks. And this is my to-do list for today. And this is a really lovely way for you to just at a glance see what, uh, what's still on your plate for today, okay? Now we can do a little bit more with this though. So let's go back to the Mac. Now let's say you like to separate your personal life and your work life in OmniFocus. Um, and on your widget, maybe you only want to show your work tasks. How could you do that? Okay, let's go back over to projects. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna create a new folder, a new folder inside of my demo project folder. And I'm gonna call this work. So let's say that some of these things are work and some of these things are not. So host a webinar is work. And um, let's pick some things from host a webinar uh, that we'd like to do today. This is a sequential project, but I want multiple things to show up. Let's see, how am I gonna do that? Um, let's actually choose this one, give my assistant access to my course videos. Let's do it that way, okay? Because we already set those two items as due. All right, we've also got, if we go back to the forecast perspective, we've got um, these items with the next tag showing, but let's say that these are personal tasks, okay? So I have not dragged those into the work folder. So now OmniFocus on iOS is going to show all four of these, but what if I only want to show the things that are in the work folder? Okay, so you'll see that these two tasks are part of this learning single actions project, which is here outside of the work folder. So we're gonna create a custom perspective to take care of this. So we're gonna go to perspectives and click show perspective. You can do this on the iPhone as well, by the way. I just find it easier to do this on the Mac. We're gonna create a new um, perspective, and we're gonna call it like uh, today's work list. Okay, now first thing I want you to do is hold the option key and then click this plus button. So if you hold the option key, it actually changes to an ellipsis, then click it. So we're adding a rule group, okay? Now we're gonna set some, do some things. Click here, okay. Now I want you to set the bottom one to availability available, because in this perspective, we want to see things that are available for us to work on. And we also want to say items that are either due soon. So we say any of the following are true, status due soon, or tagged with the next tag. Okay, so if you lost me just now, here's what's going on. I'm saying definitely we only wanna see tasks in this custom perspective that are available to work on, not tasks that are already completed, for example. That wouldn't make any sense. On top of that, they need to either be due soon or we want to have a tag be tagged, a task be tagged with the next tag, <laughs> okay? So again, that's your urgent and important items. But on top of that, we also want to only show tasks from our work folder. 
So we're going to go here and we're going to say contained within project or folder. And then we're just going to find that work folder, which for me is under demo projects and then work and just check that box. And then um, hit the star and you'll see the perspective show up on the left over here. Just close it. And now you see we only see these two things that are in the work folder. Okay, and we can actually go back to projects and let's say everything in the work folder, let's say we assign a next tag to this one. Okay, you'll see that that one also now shows under here. So this is today's work list and you can also make it today's personal list, for example. Um, and if you want, you can actually go and change some settings here. So for example, you can say sort these actions by due date and flag. So then the ones that are due, the tasks that are due will show up at the top in the order of when they are due. Okay. So now let's go to OmniFocus on iOS again. And I'm going to long press this widget to delete it. Remove the widget. I'm just going to open OmniFocus. And I'm going to pull down just to make sure OmniFocus is synchronized with OmniFocus on the Mac. Takes a second. There you go. Okay, we see like at the bottom we have this extra task that showed up. Okay. Now if we go to home and we scroll down, we'll see that today's work list is actually here as a custom perspective. So let's go back and add the widget again. Long press, hit plus, OmniFocus, so scroll to the right. And we're not going to pick the forecast widget, but we're going to pick the perspective widget. Tap add widget. Okay. We're going to long press the widget, tap edit widget, and then we're going to choose the perspective and we're going to choose today's work list. And then we're going to tap OK. And there's today's work list. And you'll see your tasks that are due, urgent tasks, or that have the next tag, important tasks, but only for those tasks that are part of the work folder. Okay. So this is how you do that. Now, one thing you need to know, back to the Mac again for a second, is what we've set in this perspective. We chose the criterion that the tasks that show up here have to be either tagged with the next tag or due soon. But what does due soon mean? Well, if we go to OmniFocus and then Preferences and we go to Dates and Times, you'll see that I've set due soon to meet today, to mean today. So if you set it up this way, um, you're essentially imitating the forecast perspective. But the default is due soon means uh, between now and four days from now. If it has a due date between right now and four days from now, it's due soon. Um, and then you might see tasks in here. So for example, let's say um, example task, and I'll make it due tomorrow. You're actually going to see this one showing up as well. It's due tomorrow. So, it's not, so we called it today's work list, but it's not today's work list because now we've set due soon to meet four days. But if I set this to mean today, then I hit Command K to refresh, it disappears. Okay, so if you do really want it to be only today, you're going to have to set due soon to today. If not, what you can do is leave it at four days or whatever works for you. And you can actually go and rename this perspective and say work uh, due soon or next or something like that. Okay. And then just uh, give it a second, uh, open OmniFocus on your phone, give it a second to refresh. And then it will show up like this. Okay, that was widgets for OmniFocus uh, for iOS 14 and higher. If you found this useful, I think you're really gonna love my course, Get Stuff Done with OmniFocus 3. So again, go to the link, uh, it's in the description below the video, go check that out. And of course, as always, if you like this, subscribe to the channel and you'll see more of these videos. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic day.